Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Fork Killer. Uh, this is a PlayStation 4 game called uh, Horizon Chase Turbo. And uh, let's go play it on the 200-inch BenQ 4K projector. Let me just give you a little reference point. The reason I left it on an angle right here, guys, this is my giant 24-inch lamp over here that I have. And this is a 75-inch Vizio. 3D TV and this is 200 inch that goes all the way past my finger on this other side but I cannot get to that side because my camera is 16 by 9 it cannot depict the entire uh, screen so this just shows you how gigantic this is and remember you know watching this through a camera watching this through a video on your YouTube especially if you're watching this on your you uh, on your cell phone on your tablet it doesn't do it justice when you see this in person it's like sitting in a movie theater and looking at a big giant screen all right so let's start the game let's do this all right we go to california Go five laps. I'll go with my regular car right here and uh, let's do it. I like this game, this is a pretty cool game. It brings back memories from the 80s and 90s. Uh, you know, it's like an outrun, it's really a outrun uh, type of a game. Here we go. This looks, um, dude, this is so cool playing it like this, man. Someone has asked me, have I connected my Nintendo Switch to a projector? Dude, I connected everything. My, I have connected my Nintendo Switch. I have connected my Apple, Apple TV, especially the Apple TV with uh, Apple Arcade games and tons of applications that the uh, Apple has with movies, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Amazon, etc., etc., so yes, I connected it, and listen, anything will look great on a big giant screen. Uh, the experience, it's always gonna be better on a bigger screen, guys. This is why people buy bigger screens, and this is why bigger screens are more expensive, okay? You know, I've seen people, you know, buy these monitors, they're like, 27 inch 4k 28 inch 4k dude you're not getting the you're not you're not taking the advantage of 8.3 million pixels on a 27 inch monitor believe me i know because i had them i still have them even on the 32 inch you're still not taking the advantage so i mean okay but fine it's better than nothing but i just want i want to be honest with you guys when there's a gimmickry i want to tell you there's a gimmickry you're not taking the advantage of 8.3 million pixels. You need a bigger canvas to appreciate 8.3 million pixels. Even if they're upscaled, still, you need to have a bigger canvas. All right, this is just a simple math. This is not... I'm not trying to be, a, you know, a smart ass. I'm just simply letting you know how this works, okay? Dude, playing games on a projector, it's a lot of fun. I know a lot of people who play on a, on a projector and again you don't need to spend you, need, you don't need to spend a lot of money to uh, to have a, like a really good projector you can have a, like a pretty good projector for 25 uh, for 250 dollars like I said there's a company called uh, Bowmaker Bowmaker they have uh, excellent projector that has contrast ratio of 8,000 to 1. It's a native 10, uh, 1080p, but also it has a pretty good keystone adjustment, so that way you can adjust and zoom in and zoom out your projector to fit the screen without moving your projector. Every other projector, you have to move the projector you know, further away. You have to move it further away so you can get that big giant screen like I do. I have my projector way out in the back. Like, I need to make a lot of distance, like 12 feet to, to 15 feet to, to get to 200-inch 200, uh, 200 ratio. 
with with some of these projectors, like the one I just mentioned, Bowmaker, you can get um, you can get 300 inches just from like seven feet away, and that's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. And on top of that, you get 6,000 lumens brightness. And for $250, that's only $250. So, you know, everybody's making an excuse. Oh, I cannot afford this. I cannot afford it. Dude, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You don't have to buy a super expensive projector. Who says you have to buy a super expensive projector? You can buy something like a bow maker, which is $250. There's others, oh, there's tons of companies out there, guys. Third parties, tons of companies out there well, making projectors, all right? So you don't need to, to, to spend. Now, if you're building a home cinema, all right. If you're building a home cinema, right? If you're somebody who's out there building a home cinema and you strictly want to use projector for home cinema to watch movies, then fine you know then you want to go extra mile and you get something like pretty pretty darn good that's like two thousand three thousand to four thousand dollars maybe you want to get a sony laser projector i get that i understand it but that's that's for like a super rich cinema you know enthusiast enthusiast or home theater enthusiast who's got money and he just uh, he's a high roller and he doesn't care don't don't put yourself in that class with the high rollers. They're high rollers for a reason, because they can't afford and you can't. So there is affordability when it comes to projectors. You don't have to go arm and leg. All right, don't go all the way out. Uh, get yourself a, a bow maker. Go type in bowmaker.com, and you'll see. Or bow maker together, all together. B O maker. Okay, B.O. Maker together. No space. B.O. Maker, Bow Maker. Uh, projector, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I might even, I know what, I might do a, I'll leave you a link down below. You guys can go check it out. But, yeah, you can game on a projector. I have tried everything from a console's. Apple TV, Android devices, uh, Nvidia Shield, Nintendo Switch, PC, laptop, etc., 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 dude. And, and gaming on a on a projector, dude. It's 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 such an immersive experience. Everything feels better, dude. Everything feels more ridiculously awesome. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you, if you never had a projector, if you never played on a projector, you're going to have a difficult time. I'm telling you right now. You're going to have a difficult time going back to your 55-inch or your 60-inch television or your 65-inch television. You're going to have a difficult time. I'm just saying. So. And, of course, watching movies like Avatar... Watching a 3D movie like Avatar on a 200-inch projector, it's like, dude, it's uh, it's like you in a movie theater, dude, pretty much. You are in a movie theater. It's like a totally immersive experience. Um, but for that, you got to have a really good projector. You need a projector that can process that correctly. This is why the laser projector from Sony uh, does a great job. But we're talking like ten grand, all right? Who has a ten grand laying around, right? So, so well, there you have it. You know, I hope you guys enjoying these videos. I figured I'd do something different. Could people been criticizing me, dude? You're doing too much Stadia, Stadia, Stadia. That's because I promised that I was gonna do bunch of stadia videos from november december all the way into january all right i kept my promise i did what i promised to do i'm not strictly stadia channel nowhere does it say stadia channel i am a guy about variety i do variety of different things and if it bothers you that i do variety then don't watch it okay anybody who knows my channel anybody who watches my channel understands this 
I do variety. And if you don't like variety, well then go join somewhere else, you know. But if you like what I do, if you appreciate this, then welcome, enjoy, you know. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.